Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen Review, and today is another day, a good day, a fabulous day for a pen review. Yeah, we're all kind of like stuck in the house, you know, what's going on with this uh, coronavirus going on. It's, it, it's not a pretty thing, no, so we have to learn to adapt. And, uh, but we got a lot of things to do, so, you know, you can kick back and dig on the review and uh, grab a drink, some snacks and just uh make a a day of it with me doing a pin review now this pin that i'm gonna be talking a little bit about came out probably around 2018 so i want to say a special thank you for a friend and a viewer that sent me this pin thank you really is a cool pin i really really do like it now let's start looking at the box here it is. It's the Platinum from Japan. It's a cardboard box with Platinum Japan 1919. You can see very nicely done. So then we just pull out the cardboard sleeve and then it's another cardboard box. Very simple. So, and that's okay. I do like pin cases, but this is fine because more money goes into the pen, less money goes into the pen case. Okay, so let's take this off, and inside is all the goodies right here. Here you go. Here's how the pen comes in the uh, a nice little secure sponge type foam, and the name of the pen is the Procyon, and it is a platinum made in. Japan. There you go. Beautiful pen, isn't it? This is the deep sea blue color right here. I love the finish of it. It's a uh, aluminum material. Uh, really a nice, comfortable, great looking pen. Uh, it's got a nice uh, clip on it. Uh, let's look inside at the goodies that come with it. Uh, I've already dipped into it a little bit. You know, I can't help myself uh, when it comes to fountain pens. So let's get what's going on in here of course you always get your little uh, instructions and uh, warranties and all that goodies coming down here and tells you of course I bet you how to fill the pen and you have to open it up first and there it is just like that okay so and then here is the ink that come with it uh, I've already got one out I've got the dark violet that's out and I believe this was blue at one time. And then they have uh, the amber, uh, no, I'm sorry, the aqua emerald and the gold orchard. So there, you get actually four. Uh, so, and uh, this is a mixable ink special color. So that's kind of cool. And so, you know, on the back, get a real good look at this. Uh, it, it, it's going to show you how to mix uh, mixable ink special color. It's a recipe for it. So, and it shows you how to do the you know the dark violet, and uh, you do the uh, recipe here with the recipe here with the war blue, and the uh, color, and uh, with the earth brown, and bam, you're going to get the color right there. And same with the emerald etc etc so a cool little mixing chart with the recipes how to get these colors so you know platinum great job on coming out with the uh, recipe chart really cool so that's really interesting uh, I like this you know I, I like this uh, added little bonus if you say uh, because right back here kind of helps the people that are into inks that want to make different color inks that want to remake that color ink kind of helps you right in here okay so that's kind of cool so you got all your goodies right here it comes with it. so let's go ahead and get into the pen and see what's going on with the pen so <clears throat> like i said before say it again beautiful pen it's got the nice uh chrome uh, trim with this pen. I like that nice uh, white band at the bottom of the cap and there's the name of the pen again and of course in the back the name uh, Platinum in Japan and 
at the top of the cap. Not a lot going on, but it's uh, it's almost like a cone kind of shape cap, but it's not very pronounced, but it's really an interesting looking cap. And you go down the barrel and it kind of thins out at the bottom. Okay, he un unscrews and it does have the slip and seal mechanism inside that keeps your uh, pin nice, fresh and inked without drying up for, they say a couple of years, but uh, I have several platinums and uh, I have yet to uh, let my pen sit for even at least a month. I'm always using them, so but that's a that's a a neat little uh, extra bonus. Say platinum has come up with uh, great ideas. Platinum comes out with they always want to improve and uh, make new things. Great ideas. So uh, let's go see about posting the pin for those people that love to post and you can post the pin nice and securely okay so uh as you go down the the barrel uh there's not really a step off and it's nothing that's gonna interfere with your fingers make it uncomfortable to write no it's not a big grip but uh it's big enough i believe like for if you have small fingers perfect if you have larger fingers you might want to hold it up here. Some people do hold it up here. So, and that's cool too. If that's your jam, that's cool. Uh, what I like about this pen, look at the size of the nib. Wow. Now, that's a bigger nib than usual. Uh, bigger than the Preppy and the, and the uh, pen before this one. It's really a nice size nib. Uh, it's a medium sized nib and let's turn over and look at the feed look at that feed it's totally different and the reason for this uh, different kind of feed the square kind of looking feed because w with the feed it's uh you're able to get every drop of ink out just get it down there and it's going to just <laughs> suck it right up so it's a newly designed feeder that helps you feel your pen when you only have small amounts of ink left in that bottle and you're trying to get it out so uh, without having to submerge that entire nib just get it right down about in there right about in there and it's going to just suck it right up and that that's pretty cool so now, where did they come up with the name, Mr. Announcer? Would you like to share? Procyon is the brightest star in the constellation of Canis Minor. There you have it. Yeah. So, you know, yes, I love space movies. I, I, I like space. Uh, I always have. And it, it kind of fits here with my new design t-shirt, Space. And this is one of my favorite spaceships. A flying saucer. Uh, what was that? Uh, the day the Earth stood still with the flying saucer. Yeah. So, and then you know what I like about this design is you know as your spaceship uh, has that beam coming down and they beam you up or whatever. That's kind of cool. But yeah, flying saucers favorite shape. Uh, kind of reminds me also of the uh, Montaluna back in up was it the late fifties, early sixties that came out. Uh, they were on a flying saucer, so yeah, I kind of grew up with flying saucers, and I also grew up with what, Buck Rogers, he had the regular kind of up and down kind of spaceship time thing, you know, so yeah, you know, I, I do like space movies, uh, Star Wars, and uh, you name it, they're, they're, they're great, great movies, so when I saw that, I said, wow, this is really a dynamite pen, but you know, the, the material, um, like I said, is aluminum, and the grip is going to be uh, resin. And this is really, you can kind of, let me put the light on here. Transparent, you can see that it, I don't know if you can see that. You can, you can see right through that. It does have some transparency there in the grip right there. Uh, but, uh, for me, bad light. But anyway, uh, 
a lot of cool things going on with this uh, fountain pen. Uh, is it an affordable fountain pen? Yeah, it's a mid-range pen. They're around like 50 some odd dollars. And you know, is that a good price for a pen? Sure. Uh, that's a good fair price range, especially for a pen like this. So, uh, it does use proprietary cartridges or you have to use the platinum converter. Uh, I do have an extra backup converter for it, but I am kind of checking out the inks and see what I think about the inks. Uh, uh, sometimes I don't like them right off the bat, and then maybe down the road I may readapt to that certain ink. Uh, now, this is a medium, okay? I have uh, the uh, Platinum 3776. I have the Music Nib, which I really love that pen. I have a fine nib, I have a medium nib, I have a broad nib. So I need to get the Platinum C, a coarse nib, which is going to be the double broad nib. So, but that said, uh, this pen really has impressed me. The length of this pen overall closed, as you see it here, is 5.5 inches. And then when you post the pen, it's 6.1 inches. And the weight of the pen is 0 0.8 ounces of the pen. So, nice size pen, a good looking pen. And they come in different colors. Uh, I think there was a, a yellow, there was a kind of an orange, there was a, a, a light, maybe teal kind of blue, and I think a couple of other colors. But uh, you can probably still find these uh, a lot of uh, pen companies still sell these pens a uh, great pen you know and uh, you should expect a, a great pen from a great company a great manufacturer platinum you know in my opinion platinum uh, puts out some of the very best fountain pens in the world they're just one of them that does that so i'm really pleased with them so what i want to do next folks is let's go ahead and give it uh, uh the writing sample for it and uh see what you guys think about it you know we all are different with uh, different opinions some like it some don't like it and uh, and that's cool so you want to leave your remarks in the comment section below tell me what you think about it but be civil any rude or hateful or smart aleck remarks uh they will be deleted and uh, uh the the moderators that are keeping the uh uh channel safe may also block start blocking people because this is not the time or any time to to get on anybody's uh a channel just to be rude, hateful, and smart outlook. You know, the reviewers aren't here to to get those kind of remarks, but we understand that in the internet you get all kinds of walks of life. So here we go with that. And let's go ahead and post a pen and we're gonna do some a little writing. Okay. Now this nib is really a nice big nib. Isn't that beautiful nib? Just look at that nib again. Beautiful nib. Okay, now one more time at that feed. And then we're going to, when far I finish up, I want to go back to the ink cartridge and, and talk a little bit about that again. Here we go. Let's get everything ready here. All right, get it all on the show. Platinum. This is a medium steel nib. It's got good ink flow, nice smooth nib, and let's do a downstroke with no pressure. Now we're going to put a little pressure on it. 
and you do get some line variation. You see a little point has a little spring to it. Not a lot, but there is some in it and no pressure at all. How about some reverse writing? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And it does do that. And let's see if it's the wetness of it. It does lay down the ink. And it has a little bit of wetness, not a whole lot. Uh, now, you know, I could be wrong, but then uh, different inks and pens will sometimes not be as wet as others, if that makes any sense. Uh, so what I want to do after I uh, use this a while and use this ink up, I'm going to try a different ink to see if I get a wetter result of the pen. Okay, so as we're done with that, now let's just go back so I can show you the... cartridges. Now they only use the platinum cartridge. And see that little ball? That's the agitator there for the ink. Now, as you see right here, the balls are right there, okay? And But when you put it into your pen, uh, that ball is going to retract all the way back. Now these are some really decent cartridges. Uh, they're not going to break off so easy or decay away because there, there's some cartridges that uh, I've used to refill uh, and I've had them a few months, eight months, give or take a year, uh, and they'll sometimes start getting the nice hairline crack here on the barrel. But uh, I've had these, I've used these, you know, for years now, off and on, not religiously, but uh, they're just a really good, strong, dependable uh, cartridge that uh, for those who like to read the cartridges up with uh, your favorite color ink you're able to do so and that's another plus for uh, platinum of course again platinum really did really a fine job on this fountain pen great looking color has a nice large nib it's smooth it's got a even a nicer more improved uh, filling system with that feed going on. Uh, it's got some, it's not a heavy uh, pen, but uh, it has uh, a nice little weight to it. I love the design of the pen. It's got a nice sharp uh, chrome finish uh, to the pen. Uh, so everything is really nice going on with the pen. If you have a chance to pick up this pen, uh, you might want to give it a try. You know, for me, yeah, it works for me really good. Well, that have it, but that's just going to take care of this review for today. And, uh, oh, by the way, I'm sorry I'm not coming coming up with a review every day. I try to, but I've been busy making hand sanitizers, which I've been passing out to the public free and uh, to some of the postal employees, uh, to some of the nurses. Uh, I've been passing them out into uh, some people I see just walking up and down the street with their dog, going for a walk or a jog, I'll hand them a bottle. So, I've been trying to do my part, helping the community stay together, fight together against this deadly virus. And we can do that. By how? Sticking together, working together, and power within the pen. We have our pens. Put them to work. Get to writing. Plenty to do, right? Take care of my folks. Until my next time, wash them hands, be safe, don't text and drive. Bye-bye.